All right, good morning. I'm super excited to be with you guys again today. We are on official day 12. We are over that middle hump. So excited. Today is called Check Yourself. I am, y'all, I'm just excited, okay? I've been up for maybe an hour and a half, but I'm super excited about today. So you guys know how I get started. So we're going to jump right into it. If you're sitting down, make sure your feet are planted. Make sure you are centered, not slouched. Get rid of all your distractions and let's take our 3D press. Last one. Okay, with your eyes still closed, I want us to block out all distractions, put your cell phones away, just be very intentional with your journaling this morning. I'm super excited, it's the start of a new week, so we're gonna jump right in. Okay, everybody open your eyes, we're all excited. It's Monday, I can't believe how bright, I, bright it is in my area right now, like I feel super light this morning. Um, so you guys know, the, for me to get started, we always put the date at the top. Check yourself is the um, name of today's journaling. And we always start with six things that we are grateful for. Okay, once everybody's done, we're gonna move on to the next. Um, <clears throat> all right, so <clears throat> y'all know how I do. I have two questions and I'm gonna be honest and say that both of them apply to me. So don't feel bad if this applies to you because it applies to me as well. Drop a one in the chat if you have given a hundred percent, oh, wait a minute, I lied, back up, because these don't apply to me. Have you given a hundred percent to your goals and dreams? Drop a one in the chat if you've given a hundred percent to your goals and dreams. Okay, now drop a two in the chat if you have fallen short in the past few weeks. Okay, so here's why I decided to name this Check Yourself. I'm just saying, it. Check Yourself. It's time to take accountability, get to the nitty gritty of it all. Whatever you wanna do, we need to fight for it. No matter what you do, whatever you wanna do, no matter if it's to go Black Diamond 6.0, if it's making a million dollars a month, whatever it is that you want, dig your heels in and keep pushing. <clears throat> we get super, super intentional at times, and then other times we just fall off the bandwagon. It, it could be something as simple as, I made my coffee this morning and spilled it all over me. It could be that simple. <clears throat> if you've ever watched The Secret, you know in that it tells you the law of attraction, 
and how one thing could change the course of your whole day. Imagine that one thing changing the course of your whole entire year. A death of a family member can definitely trigger you at times. Um, being sick for three months and being in a hospital can definitely throw you off balance. Not losing your job, losing um, money, having to put out extra amounts of money, all of these things can trigger you to get off track. But just imagine if you could figure out a way to check yourself and to get back centered. Kind of how we do every morning when I say, center yourself, plant your feet and take three deep breaths. You have no idea how, how calming it is for you to take deep breaths. You have no idea the, the energy you release by taking those deep breaths. For me, sitting back and taking a deep breath is like, okay, now I can really think. Now I've let go of all the thoughts that were in my head and now I can really think and I can be intentional. And sometimes you gotta take a deep breath to get rid of your anger. Sometimes you gotta take deep breaths to you know, push through pain. And it's the exact same thing. All, all, of us have had, all of us on here have had kids. How many times before you had that baby did you have to sit back and take some deep breaths because maybe that baby was in your ribs or maybe you know, you were feeling like, oh, what's about to happen, but it didn't really happen. And you're like, oh, this pain is kicking my butt, but I got to take some deep breaths because if not, I'm going to be cussing and throwing tables and all types of stuff because of the pain. So you just have to center yourself and get back to where you were. So I want you guys to, it's a couple of tasks with this this morning. So Think of the goals you have in place for the next five months. And we're going to take three minutes and we're going to write out 10 of them.
Okay. <clears throat> so now I want you guys to write down, and I'm telling y'all this now, be honest with yourself. Because I, you don't have to tell me what you're writing down, but be honest with yourself. Write down what is holding you back from going to get those 10 goals. And it doesn't have to be long and drawn out, just some things that are helping you from getting to your goals. So once you finish with that, I want you to write down one negative thought that plagues your mind as you look over these goals. So <clears throat> it could be one negative thought for every goal. It could be a general negative thought that you think about all of them, but write down a negative thought that plagues your mind when you think about hitting these goals. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> now this is a yes or no. Are any of these things true about you? And y'all can type your answer in the chat because I got something to go with it. So <clears throat> here's where we get to the whole point of checking yourself. When you start to think these negative things and all these things come in, they hit you hard and you start to doubt yourself. You start to feel like, why, why, why me? Like, what's the purpose now? Like, okay, another blow, okay? The first blow, you're okay. You're like, I'm gonna bounce back. Second blow, eh, I'll bounce back again. Third blow, okay, wait a minute now. Fourth blow, hold up. Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, twelfth blow, you're ready to just be done. But if you would just find a way to check yourself in a positive way, because a lot of us check ourselves like, girl, let me tell you something. Sometimes you don't need that. Sometimes you need that. Check yourself like, look in the mirror and say, look, we're going to do this. It's hard, it's painful, but let's just get through it. Let's fight through the suck and get to the better portion of this. Because 
this if the if first of all if the same thing keeps happening to you over and over and over again you might need to check yourself because if you're constantly saying okay i'm gonna just use this in this business as an example if you keep saying nobody's ordering nobody wants to do this nobody wants to do this nobody wants to do this um we need to check you we need to check you or i'm going to say i'm not going to say we're going to check you like i'm going to come and be like caitlin i need to check you but i'm saying caitlin needs to go check caitlin sherry needs to go check sherry and be like okay this has been running for a long time there are people promoting there are people doing things and I'm not saying that to compare yourself, so calm down, let me finish. This person is promoting, that person's promoting, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Let me check myself. Let me make sure I'm doing my six foot. Let me make sure I'm showing up for my team. Let me make sure I'm doing all the things that I need to do to get me to that next level. And if I'm not, let me go and be woman enough to ask for help. I am not ashamed that I asked Caitlin for time management help because I need it. I'm not ashamed to say that I need help with time management. But I love myself and I love my business and my family enough that I'm woman enough to stand here in all of my flaws and all and say, hey, girl, I need some help. I can stand here and, and Caitlin is, Caitlin knows, and Sherry does too. I have sat on a meeting with my team and apologized for not showing up. I have checked myself a whole lot. So that's why I can come and say, check yourself. It's not always business. It's not always personal, but it's something where you need to sit down and check yourself. You want to cast blame and cast this and do this and say that, oh, this person not helping me. Oh, that person not helping me. Check you. Check you. I didn't even talk to a whole leg of my team yesterday, but let me tell you something. Every single last one of them were messaging and they were posting and they were doing all the things they need to do for their business. They knew I was sick. I didn't have to get on them. I didn't have to do that. So you, you have to sit back and be like, you know what? Maybe it's me. And sometimes it's not true with other people, but you have to be woman enough, grown enough to say, okay, I joined this business. I'm 18 years old. I'm a woman now. Cause how many of us at 16 years old think you know everything and you the ish and you really not? Well, now you're an adult, you're 18 years old. You're able to vote and do all the things. And now you decided to join this business. Guess what, girlfriend? This is a grown up thing. You can't just come into this like you selling fundraiser candles and cookies and stuff check yourself and know that we're not saying any of this to make you mad we're not saying any of this to feel like we're superior to you no because me and caitlin have been in for a minute okay and we know we know how to check ourselves we have a downline of people who make us check ourselves. Cause sometimes you say stuff to people and you gotta take a step back like, dang, I, you know what? That was me. And you gotta check yourself. And sometimes you gotta say, wait a minute now, that's all you like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to check yourself. Cause I'm not against going to a team, going to my team and saying, hey, 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 hey. Like you need, you might need to get yourself, like, I don't know if you need a day. I don't know if you need some extra training. I don't know what it is that you need, but like, we need to get this together. Sherry knows, I'll be like, wait a minute now, girlfriend, that, mm -hmm. but I say it in a loving way, okay? I'm not one of those people that's like all up in your inbox, girl, what you put that up on your story for? Oh, girl, what you, I'm not that girl. I'm not. And Caitlin, no, okay, like Caitlin and Sherry, y'all know, like I, <laughs> no. I might come in your inbox and be like, hey girl, <laughs> you and I need to have a conversation. You know, th that might be my, you know, hey girl, <laughs> we need to have a conversation. Like this ain't worth it out, you know. <laughs> you know, but you have, at the end of the day, I still have to check myself. Me and Caitlin 
we talk a lot more now, okay? I didn't know who Caitlyn was until I got on the meeting. But now I can message her and be like, girl, girl let me tell you something. I need to, <clears throat> I need to do this. And she's like, yeah, I'm with you. And I can do the same thing to say, girl, I need to step up a little bit. She's like, yep, girl, I'm with you. That's how you can, if you can go to someone who knows you or doesn't know you, is not in your downline or is in your downline, you can go to that person, check yourself in front of them. That's growth, okay? Because how many of us have gone to a job and we like, dang, I'm not putting in my 100%, but I'm just going to skate on by and ain't nobody going to see me. And, you know, people still see you. They still they see you still not doing the things. But guess what? It's something that somebody, I think my mom said it years and years and years. People give you enough rope to hang yourself. They just give you the rope. And they're like, okay, well, you, you keep on. We're going to let you hang yourself. Because nobody can check you. Yeah, they can say, oh, you need to do the things. But if you're still not doing the things, that's not checking you. You have to be the one to, to check yourself. You have to be the one to say, okay, look, this is not working out. I need to, I need to do something different. So with that being said, Caitlin, I'm going to come to you. Tell us how to check ourselves in a positive way. It could be a negative way too. I don't care. Just, <laughs> just tell us how we can check ourselves. Because I, I love hearing from other people. How, how can I check me? Uh, well, I mean, everybody's, nobody's perfect. Nobody does this business 100% every single day. I don't. Yesterday and today, I mean, I've been slacking. Tobias has been so sick. And, you know, this morning I got up and I was like, wow, I didn't do anything for my business yesterday. And that's going to hurt me, you know, right there. Boom. Checked myself because I didn't work yesterday. But at least I realized that it didn't work and I can make myself be accountable and try to make up for what I missed yesterday. So if my daily is to message 300 people, add 400 people, you know, get up 10 hosts to post today, I'm going to message 600 people. I'm going to add 800 people. I'm going to get up 20 hosts to post, you know, it's just like making up for it. And that's like a way that you could check yourself in your business is if like, if you have a bad day, which everybody does, trust me, especially if you're a mom or if you're in college, you know, you have classes, you have um, test to take, you are going to have days where you're not in this business 100% and that's okay. As long as you see that you're doing that and you can make up for it. And then one way that I've been like checking myself lately is like, I've been like really like down in the dumps. If any of you knew, like last month was a really, really bad month for a lot of us. Um, I like catch myself sometimes, you know, like Caitlin, you suck at this <laughs> or like I'm saying like something bad about myself but then I'm like oh wait stop like stop myself right there and I'm like no you are this instead of this and that's a positive way to check myself into either personal development or speaking what I want into the world or you know just making myself feel better because if I say something negative about myself you know I may just be joking but really my subconscious is gonna pick up on that and I'm just like gonna think those bad things instead of those positive things because I feel like negative things have a bigger impact than the positive things. You know, you could have 30,000 good things happen to you in one day, but if you have one bad thing happen to you, what are you going to remember? The bad thing that happened to you, not the good things. And that's another way, you know, to check yourself. There's just so many ways and you just have to, you just have to make sure that, you can realize when and how to properly bring yourself out of the comment that you're saying. Are you okay? The comment that you're saying or what you're doing or the task that you didn't complete, you know, don't put a negative thought out in there. Just check yourself by like saying something good, trying to renege that negative thing and just take it from there. But yeah. That's I love that. Thank you so much. Cause <laughs> I, I usually will just let a negative thing just ride and I just be like, eh. But that's good that like when you feel something or you say something negative, you're like, no, nope, wait a minute, hold up. Let me change that to something positive. I think that's so good. And I think that's I think that's room for growth with everyone because when it's really bad, when that negative thing is really bad, you don't think about checking yourself. You thinking about that negative thing and it's so strong. And I just think back on like this past week of it that I've had 
you know, not saying that it was all bad, but all the negative things that have happened, even in July, all the negative things that happened, I gave it so much power by, by staying in that negative space rather than saying, you know what, this happened for a reason. It's going to be fine. Don't worry about it. But another thing that I want to add on to checking yourself, having that person, that's why I always say have that person at the very beginning. I said, you need to have somebody who's going to be there for you during this process. It doesn't have to be somebody on the team. It doesn't have to be somebody even in the business, but you should have somebody that you can go to. You have to have some, somebody, hell, it could be me. I don't care. Cause this is, this here is separate from the business that we have. Okay. Because like I said, this is for personal and for business, but having that person, being able to tell that person, you know, how you're feeling, what's going on and to have that person say to you, I, I know this is going on right now. And they listen, don't, don't let them up talk you now. Cause if you got to get something out, get it out. And then once you get it out, make sure that that person has heard everything you say and they're not being passive. There is a difference. But when you have that person, you can tell them what's going on. And once you're done, they say, I know this is going on, but let's look at the positive side of things. Like people don't know the car went out and we had no idea what was going on. It was a Friday. So many things were happening and we were trying to get straight. And then all of a sudden the power steering goes out. If don't mind, if don't nobody know what the power steering is, be thankful that your car got it, okay? Because that was hard, okay? Trying to figure out how the heck we was going to get home, had to go to the grocery store and all the things. So, you know, we're calling around trying to figure out, you know, how much it will be for the for one mechanic, it was fifteen hundred. For the dealership, it's like anywhere from thirty-five to forty-five hundred dollars. And you take a step back and you're like, "Wait a minute, where's that money coming from?" Do y'all see how the negative can just trickle on down? But I had to talk to someone, and she said, "You know what, Janessa? At least you know what it is. You made it back home safely because you were with your child." And I was like, you know what? You're absolutely correct because I could have been on my way to go see my family member who's two hours away and been on the highway and been in a very bad situation. But thankfully, I was very local and it did not take long for me to get home. Plus, my mama know how to drive power steering because that's how she learned how to drive in the first place. So I'm just excited, you know? And now that I got over the sucky part of it, now our car is about to be fixed today. And guess what? The dealerships is paying for it. So thank God for the blessing for that, right? So instead of me wallowing in that pain, I, I talked to someone. They helped me to realize that it wasn't as big as it was. And I was able to move forward. And a lot of times we're afraid to talk to people. That's another thing. We're afraid to just put it out there. But if you guys have not noticed in this business, we are told to be vulnerable. We are told to tell our struggles. And I'm going to tell y'all something. And I'll watch a personal development video on y'all ever since I heard it. It just clicked with me. Become friends with your struggle. Become friends with your struggle. Because when you become friends with your, with your blah, 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 blah. when you become friends with your struggle, you can overcome the struggle and guess what if Caitlin goes through the same thing and she comes to me and say hey Janessa this is what's going on when she finishes talking I can be like girl I've been there done that and let me help you let me help you get through it like I got through it six years from now when you're a black diamond 3.0 and you got this big massive team and you get your leaders together and y'all are sitting down trying to figure out okay we had a rut last month what the heck can we do to not get in a rut again and then Caitlin can step up and say, look, we did a manifest Zoom a couple years ago, and that kind of helped us with our mindset. How about we do that and challenge our teams to do it too? Challenge our leaders to jump on too. Because there are ways that you can flip stuff around years from now. If somebody comes to me and says, hey, I'm trying to lose weight. I've been struggling with it for years. Hello, boom, I'm, I'm the person for you. So that's another part of it as well. You have to be vocal about 
your struggle and what you're going through. And that's another way of checking yourself. Cause have y'all ever like somebody asks you to do something and you do it and then somebody else does it, but they like add a couple more things. You like, dang, I didn't really think about it like that. That's another way of checking yourself. So let's get into the next part. Cause if I don't, we're going to be on here forever. Y'all know how I go. So we've already wrote down the negative thoughts that go with these goals. We already realized that these are not the truth. So let's write down four statements to counter the negative statement that you said. Okay, so now we're going to do our manifest portion of Lord, I pray. And I just want you guys to remember all the goals you have for 2019 for the end, the rest of it. I want you guys to um, remember that we're checking ourselves. So let's just ask God for the things that we need to help us achieve all the things that we need to achieve or we want to achieve. Okay, so now we're going to do Lord teach me.
Okay, so now we're going to do our I am affirmations. I want you guys to make sure that you are um, being intentional with your affirmations every day. And when you go back and look over your journaling at whatever portion of the day you do, I want you to just constantly say all of the things that you are and not say the things that you aren't. So you are worthy, you are enough, you are fully capable, you are sound heart and mind, and this is for you. All the I am affirmations, just keep repeating them, keep saying them, boost yourself up, give yourself that reassurance of all the things that you are and not the things that you aren't. And let's move into the next portion. I'm so excited. I am affirmations are my favorite, just so y'all know. All right. I don't know about y'all, but just writing down those affirmations, I just, that just gave me a whole new, just, just outlook. I'm so excited. So I'm going to give us our task and I have something for y'all at the very end that I pray that you guys um, can relate to as I did. So of course, number one is always to what? Share share this with your person, share this with someone who you feel needs to get to the nitty gritty and check themselves and to explode into the next portion of their year, their next couple years, it can help them forever by just being a positive, check yourself, not a in your face. Um, two, every week, I want you to talk about your goals, the steps you're taking to achieve them, so they don't get left on the back burner. Why do I say do that? Because I was listening to Tony Robbins one day and he said that we should have long-term goals, short-term goals, and we should have like every week, every day goals. So if you are constantly knowing what your goal is and constantly talking about it, it's always in the forefront of your mind. You're always able to get there. If you wanna lose 50 pounds, okay, this week, I fell short and I lost three pounds. Okay, but I still got 47 more to go. Give yourself that positive pep talk, excuse me, about your goals and keep it moving. Your goals are not on a time restraint. So if I say I want to make $370,000 a month, that doesn't mean that it's going to happen next month. It could happen next month. I'm not knocking anything because I'm a very strong person and I can make it happen. But I'm being very realistic as well that I know that it's not going to happen 
overnight. I know that it's going to take time and patience and resilience and grit and all the things that I need to do to get there. Okay. So make sure that you're sharing um, your goals and putting them out there for you and other people to know. And the last thing is I found this online and I just absolutely love it. It's, <clears throat> it works for me and I pray that it helps you study while others are sleeping decide while others are delaying prepare while prepare while others are daydreaming begin while others are procrastinating work while others are wishing save while others are wasting listen while others are talking smile when others are frowning but most of all persist when others are quitting did that hit y'all like that hit me, okay? Just reading it hit me, okay? Like that just goes perfectly with today. So I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm going to end it there because there's nothing else that needs to be said. That last part persists while others are quitting. That resonated with me and I love it. So I love you guys. I'm so, so excited for us to explode our businesses after these 21 days. You never know, they may go longer because I got a lot more things up my sleeves. Just wait. But we are on day five of the month. I'm super excited. I pray we're super intentional. Um, make sure that you are getting your six list done. Make sure that you are reaching out to your upline, your sideline, your downline, and make sure your dreams and your goals are known. I love you guys. Have an amazing Monday. It's a Monday day. Let's do it. I love y'all. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.